Hey everyone, Martin Aspace, my name's Nathan, and today I'm going to talk about my Eversaw Assassin uh, Neuro Gauntlet build. So the Eversaw Assassin Neural Gauntlet is from the Warhammer 40k um, sort of universe and it was a commission that I got through Etsy from a client. Um, I'd previously made the a, um, Eversaw uh, Needle Pistol, I have it up on screen now, um, with the same client as well. So he's sort of doing that sort of cosplay build for that particular character. So I've actually got the gauntlet on right now, I'm going to try and attempt to try and get this in the shot as best as I can, but here's the entire build. So the majority of the build is black uh, rigid ink ABS and these parts and the actual tubes, uh, they're made from green um, tea glass, or tea glass, however you pronounce it, by Tolman Alley. Um, so it's like, it's like sort of like a nylon material, virtually indestructible once it's been printed. Um, but the majority of it is all like ABS, and then these then are like sort of pneumatic tubing I got off um, even quite cheap so um, the majority of it is just um, talco straps to put on and it's got this one um, uh, magnetic clasp here so you can open that one up it's like a wrist piece so the whole build itself is not particularly heavy see I'm moving around pretty, pretty easy. Um, there's quite a lot of movement in the fingers. I adjust the design slightly to the one that you can see on screen. Um, basically what I did was I moved the knuckle pieces from here. Um, it was restricting movement way, way too much. So um, what I did then was I purposely made these tubes way too long. So it allows your hands to, to flex forward like so. So yeah, overall the whole build um, design process took about a month um, and also the build process is included in that as well um, so a, about a month from start to finish um, probably a little bit longer actually but yeah it took a long time and a lot of uh, head work um, this is definitely my most complicated build so far um, um, just there's so many components to it it was just ridiculous but no I'm really happy with it and I'm happy, really happy with how it turned out so that's all I've got for now um, Stay tuned for the next build that I'm going to do. Um, I think it's going to be the. It's either going to be the Aloy bow, the Aloy bow from Horizon Zero Dawn, or it's going to be um, a cast Deathcore Creek from uh, rifle from Warhammer. It's one of those two I'm playing around with at the moment. But um, yeah, that's it. Cheers! Thanks very much, and I hope you subscribe for more. Bye.